back and forth and rhyme with. Uh, the twist here is that it's going to be in the style of the Beastie Boys. The leader will be in front, in front of their group. We'll start off with Steven and Matt. They'll start their rhyme, but won't be able to finish it. That's what their backups are for. So, uh, we're going to bring it, uh, get some 90s uh, hip hop style in here. So, does anybody in here have a one syllable name? Raise your hand. What's your name? Mich Michelle. Michelle. Can't do it. Scott. Scott. Everybody say hi, Scott. Hi. We're going to start off with Scott. We're going to start with the Ship of Fools side here. Uh, lay down a fat beat, and Steven's going to start the run. He's in the audience. His name is Scott. I just programmed my robot. When it comes to cool, I've got a lot. When I go to sleep, I sleep on a cot. My blood, it drips, but then it clots. You think you're cool, but you are not. I don't know what you said, so I'll say what. Oh! One of our contestants isn't able to come up with a rhyme, they are eliminated, and we go, Oh snap. Try it with me, it's really fun. Oh snap. Let's get another single syllable name. Back there. Seth. Seth, is that your name? Seth. Everybody say hi, Seth. Seth. Hi, Seth. Hi, Seth. Seth. I'm gonna keep doing this, so. I'll uh, start with Tim and Ad Liberation. Well, that guy there, his name is Seth. I thought her name, it was Beth. Waste my life on crystal meth. Feel free to beatbox with us, because as you can tell, not that good at it. Um, let's get a single syllable pet's name. Spot. Spot. We're gonna start with you guys again. We started with Scott. Oh, oh my Same goodness. Dog. Get out. <laughs> Single syllable pet name that does not belong to Scott. Dog. Dog. Your word is dog. Your, your dog name dog. We hope it's a cat. Dog. Alright. How did he get to start? Because I said so. It's preferential treatment. That is fine. I have a dog, his name is Dog! Cut down a tree, make a log! I hit this thing with my slammer. Talk! Single syllable word that you might have done in first grade or kindergarten. <laughs> Axe. 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 Max. Is that your name? Monkey. Oh. Oh. Hi, Max. Hi, Max. Hi, Max. 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 We're starting with Max. 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 Okay. Oh. 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 Let's add this up. Take it to the Max. Oh. Oh. I chopped down that tree with an axe. A back in banjo, I played the sax <laughs> It's a game you drop a bunch of jacks. I sat on a bunch of tacks. It's really loose, it's really wax. With this act, I give a couple wax. Four different words in there. I don't know how, but there were. I heard, I heard wax, fax, Ajax. Wax. Not good enough. Not good enough. Uh, any single syllable word. Chuck. 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 We're gonna keep it classy. A bunch. A bunch. A bunch. A bunch. I got this friend. His name is. It's really sticky, all this stuff. Ew, that's gross. Jock! He said say classy, but I don't give up. Fuck! Oh, yeah, high five for a. Knock! 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 Oh, snap! 
Uh, word from anywhere in the audience. Bob. Bob. <laughs> and we're gonna go with Bob since Bob. she's so insistent Bob. on Bob. 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 Boring yeah, old Bob. Sorry. His name's not Bill. His name is Fox. <laughs> Fair. But now since there's only one person, it's just going to get a little bit more interesting. Oh you see, Adam has no backup people. Or does he? All of you are going to back up Adam's rhyme and finish the rhyme. Yeah! What? <laughs> Got it? Yeah. yeah. He's going to lead up to it, you're going to finish it. I love it. So let's get uh, another word for them to rhyme with. What? 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 Can you rhyme with me? Yes. A boom. A boom. A boom. A boom. What? <laughs> Mumble Greek dog, it is a what? <laughs> hey, you guys, look at my butt! And that was Beastie Rap. Someone says, I'm gonna go to the bed. I'm gonna go to the bathroom! Then, Kate leaves? <laughs> <laughs> Just me! I don't need you to hold my hand anymore! And this is the bathroom. Okay, let's go back to the original scene. Alright, so can I get for these two people a location that would fit on this stage? Or an outside picnic. An outside picnic. Oh, is the location? Go. Chad? Yes. I, I, I'm so glad you put this <coughs> picnic together. <clears throat> well, I, I thought it would be very romantic. <laughs> egg salad? You're so thoughtful in that way, Chad. I know you like egg salad, baby. <laughs> you do know me so well. <laughs> I do, Justine. Oh, sorry, man. I lost my frizz. Hey. My name's Scott. How are you? <laughs> Scott, beat it. You beat it, Chad. Chad? I've been listening. <laughs> Justine is on the state with me. I'm sorry, ladies. This is my dog. Hey! <laughs> hey, other Scott. What's up? Hey, Scott. Say hi to Scott, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you want to ditch Chad here? Baby, I brought you egg salad. Scott, you find that frisbee yet? Oh yeah, it's right here, bro. Thanks, Scott. Hey, Have Scott. I'm hey, not Scott. Dates here again. Hey, little Scott. I'm gonna go play the game some more. All right, dumb tart. Okay. They're locked. They're locked. Over here. I don't know who to choose. I don't. I don't. Five hundred. Five hundred. I don't know All what right. that means. Now you're over there. Oh. All right, this one. Oh, don't sir, mind me. Sir, this just, isn't, just a this isn't skeet water. shooting. We're just playing frisbee. All right, I'm just cleaning the park. We're playing frisbee. And I'm cleaning the park. I assume these red Solo cups are yours. That's it, I'm going to get the police. <laughs> uh, officers. Yeah, um, there was a guy. Officer. 
<laughs> and the lady? Hello? And the lady? I don't know. Okay. What's up? I was trying to play frisbee and this guy keeps interrupting me, cleaning the park. He was trying to play frisbee and a guy kept interrupting him, cleaning the park. What color was the frisbee? Don't talk to him! You talk to me. And you talked to me. Did you see a dwarf? I lost a dwarf. Have you guys seen it? A dwarf. Yeah, I had a dwarf and it got away from me. Dwarves do that. They're slippery. Yeah, I'm sorry. He ran inside here. No, you know, don't worry. If you find him, just mail him to me. I'll leave him my card. And you can just mail to me. Yeah. Just make sure you punch some holes in the Ah, We may have to charge you the postage. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. Budget cuts. I understand. What you writing? Gotta write to down freedom! It. Yes! Oh, oh my gosh! Welcome to Freedom, Nebraska! Yes! We are not allowed here. We don't take your kinds. We don't like short people. Short people. Short people. You, got, you got no reason. But I've got a five. Uh, mm. Now I got a five. Um, yeah. I've got a, 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 it's a packet for Denny's. Now I got a packet for Denny's. Yeah, you know what? I love you. <laughs> Short on Denny, short on money, and just plain short. Oh. You should go back where you came from. We don't want you in the fire. Fine, you'll yeah. go back to jail. Uh. Hey, prisoner, cop guys, yeah. we escape it. Yeah. Come yes. on! You escape it. We're not that tall. <laughs> yeah. oh. Do they seem too tall to be dwarves? Let's ask the commissioner. The commissioner? Ah! Uh. 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 the commissioner. I'm the commissioner. I'm the Excuse me. We're supposed to be yeah. in jail and they won't let us back in. Yeah. You need to file your paperwork to get into the jail. Paper. Oh. Come on, man. How <laughs> can you have a higher jail? But I don't want to write another essay. New person. Well, then I shall write it for you. Commissioner, it's 3 p.m. It's time for your speech therapy. <laughs> I only take it recreationally. <laughs> let us go. Um, yeah, for your jail. <laughs> Delta Chi Omega Rho Finto. You speak too well for the war room. Uh, not the war room, the war no, room. There's no babies in here, it's not womb. Uh, Guess I'll go back to my frat house. Okay. Oh, I'm to have to roll first. Shit! Oh, 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 Yeah. I was hoping to. Yes. I'm My name is Walter McGibbons. I'm a senior. A senior? Yes, a senior. Oh. Prepare to bow. I have already bowed. Well, you should have been preparing. That's why you should pledge. We can teach you the proper order okay. whilst you prepare yourself to bow. Okay. I don't think they're wearing appropriate. Don't spill my tea. He's a senior. I am a senior! <laughs> Sir Senior, uh, they don't appear to be wearing pants. Just yoga. Mm. We... Yoga pants! I well, thought it would please you, your senior They are 
common Double. folk, not yet pledges. Hmm. So we can't expect them to understand our ways and our fancy slacks. <laughs> <laughs> One day I hope to wear slacks. Where did you get them? The slacks are standard issue for all pledges. I remember four, five, six years ago when I was a freshman. I rushed here and bought my slacks straight away. I bought them in the wrong color, of course, but I did buy them. And it was then that I knew that I wanted to be part of this fraternity. And now I'm its president. Can you talk a little slower? Walter McGibbons. Imposter! of this fraternity. You may have had majority votes, but I won the majority of rooms. I challenge you <gasps> to what? A slack off. A slack off! A slack off! <laughs> you will surely win, for you are the greatest slack off. I was indeed. Prepare yourself to slack. Cheating to wear two pounds of slacks, one beneath the other. Rule book. Rule book. The president, as I am, may wear as many pairs of slacks as he deems proper. Nancy. Or die, so I need everybody in the line behind me. So what is going to happen? I am going to be asking you for some categories, and these guys are going to be giving me fake things that fit into that category. It has to sound <laughs> logical enough that it would fit into that category, but they can't say anything that's real. So if you said colors, then something like blurble. That would be acceptable. Something Unacceptable would be green, red. red. Green, red, white, those are real colors. Blue. Cannot say it. Blue is also <laughs> unacceptable. So, if these guys say something that either makes complete sense or it doesn't make enough sense, they are going to die. I am going to be conducting them. If I feel that I don't think it fits, then I might ask you guys yes or no, and you can cheer if you think that they should stay in the game, or you could boo, say no, if you think that they should die. Um, and I might miss something, so if you hear something that you think is not worthy of continuing, then go ahead and say, no, and they'll die, okay? So, can I get a category to start us off with? Stores at the mall. I heard stores at the mall. Okay. Swedish pants. Sunfitters. Forever 35. <laughs> Mummies are us. Grandpa's crawl space. <laughs> Shake it up. Let's have some cannonballs. <laughs> the Nod Bookstore. The Ocean. The <laughs> Factory. Oh. 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 <laughs> so they will die. I, I also forgot to mention, we are playing to two winners, and those two winners will be starting our long form for us. So can I get another category? Musical, musical instruments. instruments. I heard musical instruments. Trombone. Wait, wait, what? Uh, Shrombone? I don't think they like this. Uh, oh, no. Die. Okay, hey, another Jump category. Stephen King, oh. King books. Stephen King books. The Pumpkin's Last Stand. The, the Stinkening. How terribly unfortunate. The Cat in the Shoe. <laughs> Harold's Undertaker. The She's dead. <laughs> <He's dead too. laughs> Vamp Wolf. Love in the graveyard. A hairy woman. Mind the gap. I forgot the pants. Pet store. I forgot the shirts. Punch killer. <laughs> Tickled ivories. 
The damp tower. That. <laughs> Wet. <laughs> the skank that killed me? Nudeful things. <laughs> the damp towel. Yeah. <laughs> Another category. World War II aircraft! Never quite the fried chicken. Song titles. I, I heard song titles. So hard to hear. Why did she join us? There's too many dead things over here. Okay. Ooh, girl. There's too many dead things over here. Don't tell my mama. I mud you. There's nothing I'd rather be than in your pants right now. I want to kiss my beautiful donut lips. Rage. The rage song. The boys like me? Samson and Delulu. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is our last round, so can I get one more category? Lawrence, the U.S. did not participate in it. That's the word. Dr. Seuss stories. I heard Dr. Seuss stories. They're all nonsense. <laughs> the cat and the abortionist. <laughs> So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into our long form, but we've got to, we've got to set a few things up because you guys are going to be involved. Well, you just saw that and plus the Ship of Fools part of the show. We're going to use that to influence our long form. But you guys in the front row have special positions. How many of you guys love control? Oh, you love, you love control. All right, what is your name? Christian. Christian, let's say hi to Christian. Hey, Christian! Scott! <laughs> His name's not Scott. <laughs> Got enough Scots back there. All right, Christian, so you're gonna have a special duty to control the scene. You have a special power called inner monologue. Okay, you can shout that whenever you feel appropriate, and whatever character's talking, they're gonna have to step forward and give their inner thoughts while the scene is still going on, and then they'll go back. Okay, you think you're gonna do that? Yeah. All right, who else wants a superpower? You, sir. What is your name? Casey. Hi, Casey. Hi, Casey. Hi, Casey. Hi, Casey. So you have a special power called Oscar winning moment. When you feel it necessary, you can yell Oscar winning moment. And the people on the scene, during the scene, they're going to have to really get emotional about whatever they're doing. They're either going to have to get sad or really happy and hopeful. And music is going to play. It's going to be the best. <laughs> All right, so you think you can do that? Yeah. Awesome. One last person. How about you right there? I'm Billy. Hi, Billy. Hi, Billy. Hi, Billy. Hi, Billy. Hi, Scott. <laughs> okay, Billy, yours is probably the most versatile and fun power to have. It's called Show Me That. When something happens on stage, like, oh man, that was like the puppy died when I was a kid. You'd be like, show me that. And then you'd have to see that happen. <laughs> so, maybe not that sad, but when you feel appropriate, yell it out. And all you guys gotta yell really loud, because if we can't hear it, we can't do it. So, with all your superpowers, let's start this scene. Gerald, have you seen my pants? You look in the closet? Yes, I looked in the closet, Gerald. That's where my pants go. Both closets? <laughs> I didn't expect to have to look into your closet for my pants. We wear the same size. It's The only reason I married Jerry was because he had insurance. I would just like to make that clear to the audience right now. <laughs> Excuse me? I'm just saying, someone might have folded pants wrong and we both wear jeans and they're the... Nope! <laughs> and so the cat said, <laughs> I can't handle the responsibility of a baby right now. <laughs> Show me that! <laughs> I can't handle the responsibilities of a baby right now! They're not that hard! I swear they aren't! You're gonna pay for this! Go back! <laughs> so the cat got a wonderful idea. <laughs> The cat trekked downtown to Planned Parenthood. 
that was where the cat met the abortionist. Can you say abortion? <laughs> Bob, I, I don't know about this. I mean, you're you're just a builder. <laughs> no anesthesia? Oh, uh, what? <laughs> hey, Gerald. Did you say that thing to your wife yet? The thing you've been meaning to say? That I love her? No, the other thing. Oh. You know that I want us to have kids. Yeah. Oscar winning moment. Yeah. I just don't know what to say. She's so mad all the time. You know how much oh, my, my father means to me. And you know how much making you the godfather means to me. I want to God raise those kids. I want you to God raise those kids. <laughs> She doesn't listen! I drop hints! Like, we wear the same size pants, we'd be great yeah. parents together! Yeah! <laughs> pants parents! Pants! P P A! P A! P A! Now, Charlie, this better be important. You know I don't like being interrupted during all my Satans. <laughs> it is. Um, I found a doctor. Uh, his name is Bob. <laughs> he did the kid kitchen remodel, um, <laughs> so I, I think he's good. He's also a doctor? That's what he tells me. <laughs> well, okay then. I can't wait to get rid of this heart murmur. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Grandma. Hi, Susan. So I had a great time at the prom. Oh my god, Brad is so hot. Ooh. Guess what, Grandma? <laughs> Guess what? What? I'm pregnant. Ah! <laughs> Reverse. No, I didn't hear that. Forward. I'm pregnant. <laughs> it's gonna be so great. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have a lovely children's book you need to read. <laughs> I'm the patient. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, sir. So go, go back to the whip. Go I don't, I don't like it. Go back oh, this to the is already room. going. Oh my god, we can't do this, Bob. Can I really look like him? Inner monologue. <laughs> guy's ugly as shit. <laughs> Cross the other side of the street just because I'm a velociraptor. <laughs> That's racist. Do they need to get to the other side? Well, I guess you have a problem then. Because I'm not moving. <laughs> so you either come to terms with your race problems and my talents, or you stay over there. Because I got all the time in the world. <laughs> Jimmy, for the last time, clean this room. It's like a chamber of nefarious odor in here. <laughs> if I don't want it, Dad. Well, you know what? It stinks. I can smell it from the you neighbor's stink. house. I stink? You stink. I stink? Yeah. I stink? You stink. Well, I brought you into this world, so I guess that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Show me that. <laughs> Dear. I'm not here to cook for you. Just because I'm your wife. Like I have no other duties that I'm good for. Man, it must be that time of month, or is it? <laughs> I'm really starting to consider that house in Tampa. I'm just gonna leave and not tell him about it. See how he feels then. Oh! Bet that oven would look better with some buns in it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Are 
right, so I got an idea for a new book. It's okay. called Punch Killer. I like it. Uh, punch. It's about guy. Can't punch. punches. Ow. Just punch. Let's keep it Show in the right Show me that. <laughs> <laughs> punch Killer. <laughs> okay, so. A lot of punches. When can you have it to me? Um. Well, how late are you gonna be here? I, I mean, I, I got a basic idea. I'll be here till five. I'll have it by four thirty. Gives you fifteen minutes. I'll have it by four four five. <laughs> have it by five. Okay. Well, do I have a god fetus yet? <laughs> Reverse. <laughs> I tried. Do I have a god fetus yet? Well. Lord. Well, do I have a god fetus yet? I, I tried, I've tried everything. I've tried every way to hint I possibly know how. I don't think it's working. I think she keeps making noises about Tampa. Show me that. <laughs> Tampa, 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 Tampa. Talk to me! Come back. What does that even mean? I, I don't, it's a city. I think. I gotta have milk. About Gerald, he keeps making fun of me all the time. Show me that. <laughs> it would look great if you put on some more weight, like six to eight pounds. <laughs> <laughs> and he's commenting on That's just ridiculous. Comments on my weight all the time and eggs and buns, and I just I don't know if he wants to be a cook or if he wants to leave me. I feel like I'm missing something. Have you tried asking him? Just, just asking him why he wants to. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she wants you to take her to Tampa. You know, she... I bet that's America's most fertile city. <laughs> I think you might be right. I got, I got nothing to... <laughs> The babies. <laughs> you know, like they're falling from the the sky. It's like acid rain, <laughs> but with babies. <laughs> this just in. Babies made of acid are falling from the skies in Tampa. Quite the tragedy. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. oh, oh God, oh, God baby, through the roof. <laughs> Doctor, I, I don't think I should be the one cutting you. Oh, just, just do it. I just, I need fertility treatments, but I'm gonna buy a popsicle stick so I don't swallow my tongue. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> New choice. New choice. Like, it's dripping off of you. Huh. Inner monologue. I, I have acid inside me? But Brad told me he was clean this time! Maybe <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I got tested. Oh, acid free. <laughs> Show me that! <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Bob, you need to ring? Oh, you got it. She's good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so I don't know what happened. I, the police came, they said I killed the Dr. Bob, I was set to have an operation, I found him lying dead, and now they're blaming me. See? <laughs> Go back. <laughs> <laughs> what are your talents doing this side of town? Oh. 
look, I'm, I'm just trying to get home to my kids. <laughs> kids? Yeah. Yeah, I have two boys. Bradley and Velociraptor 2. <laughs> Show me that! <laughs> Brad! Dad, I love guess you. what I learned in school today? Tell me, Velociraptor 2. All of calculus. <laughs> you are the luckiest parents in the world. Ah, oh, oh, let them be. I'm sorry, honey. I need to stop doing that. Go back. So I just, I'm not here to make any trouble. Well, I think you should get on your way. This is a triceratops part of town. And, uh... <laughs> You know, I've lived my whole life with this bullshit. <laughs> it's all clever boy this and clever boy that. I am not a boy! <laughs> I don't want any trouble here, Three Horns. New choice. I don't want any trouble here, herbivore. New choice. I don't want any trouble here, extinction target. <laughs> oh. Extinction target. Extinction target. Extinction target. How, <laughs> how are you going to survive without three horns? Uh, what? How are you going to survive with two horns, huh? <laughs> what? You did it? Yeah, did yeah. You it? Well, no, but I, I broached the idea of Tampa. <laughs> Show oh. me that. <laughs> so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, what, did she go for it? Did she, did she say yes? Well, it's complicated. What do you mean? I mean, she didn't exactly say yes. Show me that. How'd you know about Tampa? Oh, I mean, everybody knows about Tampa. Go back. <laughs> well, so she didn't say yes. Did she, she didn't say no either. She oh, just asked no, no. questions. She asked questions? Yeah, like, you know. What's the big deal about Tampa? Isn't she the one that's been saying Tampa, Tampa, Tampa all That's day? what I thought. Show me that. <laughs> Tampa, 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 Tampa. Let's go there! <laughs> Show me that! <laughs> I'm glad we finally went here. <laughs> baby! Oh, what's up, baby? Whoa! Yeah, that didn't work out, I guess. You didn't just grab one? <laughs> one? No, I did not just grab one. I got, can you come over? I need some godparenting. Yeah, hi. Hey. <laughs> they are everywhere. I don't know where they are right now. Oh. We went a little nuts. I don't know if I'm ready for this kind of commitment. You said you were gonna be a godparent. I didn't say I was gonna be godparents. All right, pick one. We got Bradley. Dada. We got Velociraptor 2. And uh Scott? I like that name. That's one Scott. That's one, that one's yours. Yeah, I'll take Scott. Okay. Can I interest you in a Bradley? No, I'm good. Daryl, do you want it off the Oh. It's you. Hi. 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 Gerald, can I talk to you? Just doing some godparents. Yeah, do you need a glass of milk or do I just come talk to you? You can just come talk to okay. me. Take the babies. You can you, can I can't take tri on. Triple. Just do it. Okay. So, so we got all these bundles of joy now. Yeah, I'm, I'm beginning to think that maybe so, you're trying uh, to to drop a hint. Oh, okay. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Do you guys like cheese? Dear? <laughs> Gerald. Yes, dear. So I, have I need milk. <laughs> oh, God. It's making a noise? Oh, uh, crackers. Oh, my God. Oh Look at your maternal instincts! You're a mommy! Get your milk. Look at those maternal instincts. So how'd your book turn out? Uh, it's not exactly flying off shelves, unfortunately. I, I, I don't think I had the spark I used to. Punch killer? Really? What am I thinking? Oh, well, here's what you need to write about. I need a muse. I need a baby. 
<laughs> a baby to be my muse. How did you looking for a baby? <laughs> she doesn't punch, does she? I don't think so. Trying to get away from punching. I haven't seen her punch yet, so that's that good. That's good. good. I've only had her for about two hours, but <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm all parented out, right? You know, sturdy, so. sturdy. Is she up on pedestals for long periods of time? I'm just gonna need to look at her. <laughs> Show me Show that. that. <laughs> Oscar-winning moment. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> That's done. Good job, baby. You can have my girl, baby. Slap, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got a confession to make. See, that's never a good way to start a conversation. <laughs> Hello, as much. Oh, what's? I gave away Scott. Which one was Scott? <laughs> the one I godparented for a couple hours. Inner monologue. Alright, we got Bradley. <laughs> we got T-Rex? Are you sure it was Scott? And Scott, apparently. Okay, well, where... Where is it? She? She's with the punch killer guy. <laughs> what? Darla, I know what he wants. He wants babies! Babies? Yeah! Reverse. The babies? Forward. Babies? Reverse. Babies? Forward. Babies? You choose. Oh. <laughs> Those things? Yeah! I don't know how I... Suddenly there's like three of them in my house and now I feel really bad for, for thinking you just thought Wait, I was... Wait, you already had three babies? No, not me. No. Do I look like I had three babies? Yeah. <laughs> No, no, he was just saying he wanted me to gain weight, and it's the stupidest way to tell somebody they want babies. And does she look like she's had three babies? Absolutely, and I tried to tell her that. <laughs> We have a website, adliberation.net. We have a tweeter at twitter.com slash adlibimprov. Uh, we have a Facebook, facebook.com slash adliberation. We have an open practice the first Sunday of every month, and that one's coming up next weekend, uh, March 4th, from 1 to 3 in Stewart 307. 307. It's all on the website. It's all on the website. So uh, we want to get Ship back up back here. Back up here, Ship! For the oh, final oh, game. There we go. This game is called <laughs> Objection. And we're right. Wait these guys to mingle up. Okay. So this game is we put five minutes on the clock. They're going to start with a topic, and then if somebody in the back row says, like, oh no, that's totally not it, they're going to yell objection. They're going to tell you their idea of why it's an objection, you're gonna say, yeah, I clap, and they're gonna take the spot, or the other guy's like, no, that sucked. And then they're gonna say back there, the person up here talking at the end of five minutes wins the game. So can I get a suggestion of just the worst thing that you got for a Christmas present? Spoons. Spoons! <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm starting it out. Matt, go! Not a lot. Hold on, let me check the time. Okay. So, spoons. I got that as a Christmas gift. Can you believe that? My mom, I'm like, hey, can I get like a Super Game Boy? It's really cool. You can play Game Boy games and Super Nintendo. But she's like, here's some spoons. Apparently, we were running low, and I don't really love you that much. So, Objection! Your mom loves you so much, man. Aww. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. So my mom loves me super bunches. That's why she got me the spoons. Cause I've got him. You said his mom loved him. <laughs> oh. So Matt's mom loves him. Objection! A lot. <laughs> I much preferred when my girlfriend gifted me with the spoons. No. Nope. No. <laughs> so again, Matt's mom really loves him. So she brought him these spoons, but that he didn't realize they were plated with gold. 
So oh. there Objection, he was. Objection! You said spoons, not plates. Plates. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> they were plated with gold, and when he found this, he was like, "Whittle a dee." Objection! <laughs> he was clearly much more like him a dee boo. So he's so excited about these gold-plated spoons that he immediately gets his favorite cereal, Life. Duh. <laughs> Pours himself. His favorite cereal is peanut butter Captain Crunch. Oh no. 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 Objection! He has never got a life. <laughs> so he goes and he gets himself some kaboom, yeah? <laughs> Who buys Kaboom? I do. I do. You do. So he gets the Kaboom and he's like, I'm so glad I bought this. And he pulls himself a great big heaping bowl. And he goes over and he grabs his golden spoons. He's like, objection, milk? Milk. Oh. I don't know what you want. So he pours himself a bowl and adds some milk. Objection, he pours a bowl. Yeah. Yes. He pours the cereal. Yes, he pours the cereal. Oh. Objection! <laughs> Pedantry! <laughs> <laughs> Objection! We should skip to the part where the conquistadors come in. Yeah. So in come these conquistadors. I'm talking Ponce de Leon and whoever else you learned about but then forgot. Yeah. Yeah. Objection! Thinking, I don't think Ponce de Leon was a conquistador, was he? Was it? Yeah. 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 Cortex. Yeah. Ah, that's yeah. 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 So Cortez comes Objection. in. Nerd! <laughs> Objection! Nerds are cool. Yeah. So who said you aren't though? <laughs> So Cortez was coming by, and he sees all this gold in the cereal bowl that Matt's finished, and he says, Objection! Oh. The gold isn't in the cereal bowl, it's in the spoons! Oh. Objection! No, on the spoon. oh, yeah, on the spoon. Oh. 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 I'm gonna keep talking. So he says, Ole! I must have this gold! And Objection! Matt, that's a terrible Spanish accent! <laughs> Castilian from France, so that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's fine. Ah, ah, I'll feed the food! Can we invoke the nerd clause again? Yeah. Yeah. Objection, aren't nerds cool? Yeah. Yeah. This just ends with me saying no and getting back and finally on stage. So, there was like stuff and dudes and... Oh, Nothing! Me! Not paying attention. I forgot what was happening. <laughs> <laughs> so the Golden Spoons decided to be the lead in the story. So Objection! Uh, personification of silverware? What the hell? Yeah. 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 Objection! It's goldenware. Yeah! Oh. So we're gonna stick with the people because the people are what's important. <laughs> so in walks Cortez and he plants a flag right in the middle of his kitchen. And Objection! He's... You can't plant a flag in the living room. Challenge accepted! It was the kitchen. <laughs> so Objection. Objection! You can't plant a flag. They don't grow on trees. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! You are correct. You are correct to do that. <laughs> so, okay, I'll, I'll make it. I'll make it more plausible. Cortez goes Super Saiyan and just smashes a flag so hard. It goes, Objection! Oh, the winner! <laughs> Well, thank you guys for coming out. We are Shoot Fools and Ad Liberation. Yeah. How about we go off saying each other's names? Or you guys say your names. Joe. Katie. Adam. Mona. Steven. Laura. Jeremy. Will. Taylor. <laughs> I'm sorry. What's that? Taylor. Luke. Great. Tim. Becky. Shanna. Rachel. And I'm Matt. Thank you.